So another common task that we do with our spatial data is summarize features relative to areas or polygons. So for example, you might want to get summary statistics for a raster, a continuous raster, like an elevation surface uh, for each uh, for each zone or area defined by a polygon. You might want to get land areas of categories from a categorical raster. Um, we're not going to look at the raster ones in this video. Instead, what we're going to look at are vector summarization methods. So specifically, we're going to look at um, counting the number of points in a polygon and then, and then summing the length of lines in a polygon. Okay, so um, here I have again the state boundaries. All of these red dots represent some uh, mapped tornado occurrences. So let's say that I wanted to count the number of tornado occurrences by state. Okay, so that can be accomplished if you had a, again, vector analysis and then analysis. We want to do count points in polygon. So our polygons will be the states. Our points will be the tornadoes. We don't need to apply a, a weight. We could get counts by uh, stratified by class if we had like a categorical variable, but we don't really hear. This is going to be the name of the field, so I'm going to call it... Um, uh, let's call it tour count. And again, that's just going to create a temporary output. Okay, so that generated another polygon layer, um, just kind of a copy of the states. Uh, but now in the attribute table, if we go into that, back here on the end, we should have this tour count field, which counts the number of tornado occurrences. And then we could symbolize on that just to get a sense of the distribution or just to visualize the data. So I'm going to go in here and change this to graduated. Um, and then we want, again want to pick a field to, val to symbolize on. And let's do a classify. And this is just quantile. That should be fine. So um, again, we can kind of see the high rates out here in the plains and whatnot. You know, one thing that's kind of complicated if you're looking at, if you're trying to visualize this pattern is that it's not really fair comparison because a larger state like Texas has more land area. So it might just have more tornadoes just for that reason. So maybe a more, a fair, a, a more fair comparison would be if we normalize by area. So something like number of tornadoes per, per unit area. And we could accomplish that with some table math. So let's do that real quick. So we're going to go into the attribute table for this feature. We're going to go to the open field calculator. Uh, we're going to create a new field. So we're going to call this uh, tour den. And we definitely need to have decimals. So make it a real. And I'm going to make the precision a little higher because um, if I've ran this before and it's a pretty low number, so we want to make sure we have enough decimal places. Okay, so what we want to do is, ca is calculate the number per unit area. So if we go to our file, our, so our fields and values, then you can grab that new field, tour count. And we're going to divide that by the area. Um, and we can grab that attribute in the geometry list. So that'll be, where are we here? Dollar sign area. And this will be calculated in the map units, which will be kind of weird because it's um, square meters. So it's going to be like tornadoes per square meter. Um, I think we're going to do it by square kilometer instead. So I'm just going to multiply that by the conversion factor. It should be uh, one of the negative uh, uh, to the negative six. So one. Okay. And note down here, it'll tell you if your expression is valid or invalid. Oops, I put in zeros <laughs> or O's instead of zeros. So There we go, and that gives us back the number there. And then if we hit OK, it'll run that calculation, and then back here we should have that new tornado density field. And we could change our symbology, so we change this over to density now. 
and you see a slightly a different pattern there uh, when we normalize based on area. Okay, so that's that. So let's um, now summarize uh, lines as opposed to points. So I have this layer of interstates or major highways across the country, and let's say I just want to get the land or the length of highways per state. Okay, so that can be accomplished again under analysis, and then some length, some line lengths. So we want to do this within our states, and we want to again summarize the interstates. This will be the name of the attribute field. I'm going to just call it length, enter, and then this is a number, enter count. So that's the number of line features. Okay, that should work. And then if we run that, and we'll turn this off, we get again a copy of the state boundaries. But now if we go into the attribute table, we have this... Um, count field, number of line features, and then length field. Now this was calculated in the map units, so it's in meters, so this is length in meters, that's why the numbers are like really large. Again, we could symbolize on that, so I'm gonna open this up, change it to graduated, and we're gonna use that length field, and again, classify, we'll just change color ramp just for the heck of it. There you go. So again, this is similar to the tornado issue. Um, so if you have larger states, there's a chance that there's there's probably going to be more interstate length just based on length so or area. So for a fair comparison, it would probably make more sense if we uh, normalize by area. So again, that could be done with table math. So keep open in the symbology instead. Okay, there we go. So again, field calculator, we'll create a new field, we'll call it, I don't know, enter den. Again, we'll probably want to make that a test or a, a real number so um, we can have some decimals. Um, and again, we'll just do geometry. Oh, sorry, actually we want to start off with the uh, field and we want to grab this length field and we want to divide that by the area uh, let's see we again we'll go back to geometry for that grab area so this would be length in meters divided by area in square meters so basically it would be like meters or rows per per area in square meters um, I'm just gonna convert I think the kilometers or square kilometers so I'm going to add a thousand in there note you got to worry about orders operations so I'm going to wrap this in parentheses so we know it's doing the orders of operations the way that we want and then we also want to multiply this by there we go um, so that should be the length in kilometers divided by the, by the length or the the area in, in square miles. So let's run that. I don't think we need that many decimals. So I'm going to make this a little smaller. Okay, so now we should have that new field. So let's symbolize on that. So we go to graduated, and now we want to change this from length to density grab new values, and then apply, and OK. And then that kind of changes the pattern a good bit. So again, we can see this really high density area, um, you know, like in the New England, like I-95 corridor area, which makes sense. OK, so um, that's some examples of doing some basic uh, data summarization for points and lines relative to polygons.